Hello everyone. Welcome to Colored Conversations with Carpet Street. I'm Tanner. I'm glad you're here. Um, today's color is Sherwin-Williams 6206 Oyster Bay. It is a medium color. Uh, it's light reflective value is 44. And it is, gosh, one of those really uh, kind of adaptable shades where if you need it to look kind of teal, it can. If you need it to look more gray, it will. If you need it to look more blue, it will. But it's very spa-like or very, like I said, serene. Um, it is very coastal without being in your face coastal. So its depth is, is, is nice. I mean, it's going to be able to go with darks and still stand out and with whites or lights and still stand out. Um, so in that, because of that, it's great for almost any application in terms of trim with a, a white siding or shutters with a darker siding or an accent wall with darker um, furniture or an accent wall with lighter walls. You know, it's really going to be a nice color that plays well with, with other colors or with your palette that already exists. Um, and, and, and so it's, it's grayness elevates it, I think. It's grayness, you know, mutes the color so that it's not so like teal coastally, but it's more of a soft, um, cloud-like version of, you know, a, a coastal color. So it's going to play really nicely with um, more elegant details. If it's a dining room, you know, it's, you know, still going to play really nicely with, with cherry furniture or beautiful, um, opulent, you know, decor as nice as, I mean, it's the same way it would in a children's playroom. You know, it's, it's also going to be a calming color in there. It's going to be pretty enough to feel, um, you know, welcoming, but it's going to be, like I said, calming and serene and, and pretty enough to go with really all kinds of styles. Um, and the great thing about, you know, it working with so many other colors and, and everything, and it's, it's, again, grayness, it's, it's mutedness, um, is that on the exterior, you can play around with this color a lot, even more than you probably think. Um, we, we've had clients that use this just for their front door because they had a lot of heavy stonework going on. Um, or they had a lot of, you know, grayish kind of was the overall color, which was great, but then they wanted a blue door that didn't scream blue, you know? And then we've used this for exteriors, like whole exteriors when people wanted kind of somewhat of a coastal, you know, a nod to the coastal um, homes and that kind of style and vernacular, but not in an obvious way that would make it, you know, stick out like a sore thumb in a neighborhood, you know, in just a, a subdivision anywhere. So that's what's so great about this color is its adaptability to go from, you know, one style to the other style. And it's, it's fun in its color. You know, like I said, it's, it's calming and it definitely feels like it has a color, but it's not so colorful that you couldn't, um, it wouldn't tie nicely, even if this was your siding and you have a brick. So, you know, it, it's going to go with any kind of natural element really well. Another place this is going to look really, really, really nice is cabinetry. So it's so, it's color, it's color is so subtle in terms of you can't really nail down which color it is. But again, it's depth from white is very obvious. So it is definitely like, hello, I'm here. I'm a color. I'm not white. I'm meant to be noticed and seen and taken in. Um, but not in a, dramatic way, a really dramatic way that it's going to take away from any of your other, you know, um, features in that room. But cabinetry is so beautiful. It's going to play with, again, natural elements. It's going to play with countertops, all kinds of countertops so beautifully. Um, and it's going to play with, you know, whatever backsplash you pair it with. If it's in a bathroom, it's going to go with tiles so nicely. We love us Oyster Bay. So it's, like I said, it's a more elegant version of a coastal color. Um, it's still muted enough to go with all kinds of, of natural elements. And you can see in direct sunlight, it plays um, 
more blue, more sky inspired and things like that. And then it's more shaded. It does, you know, pick up in the gray element, you know, like it's, it's again, if your color palette already has a navy in it or a red or whatever in it, this is okay to go with that. This is going to really insert itself nicely into most color palettes. However, again, if your color palette is mostly neutrals and you're like, I need some kind of color, this is going to bring in enough color for you. So, you know, if those are the things you're looking for, like I kind of want it to have an airy coastal feel, but I still want it to, you know, fit in with my brick or with my neighborhood, or I want it to have this spa-like serene feel, but I still want it to be able to have like a rustic bench in front of it if I want. This is a great color for that. Um, again, it is 6206 Oyster Bay. Um, if you have used Oyster Bay, if you're thinking about using Oyster Bay and you want to talk about it some more, reach out CrawfordStreetDesigns at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you and hear about it, hear about your project. We'd love to help you with your project if you're thinking about using this and, um, and you're not sure, you're not sure if you're there yet. Um, we'd love to send you some, some projects that we've used that have, that have this or, you know, help you adjust to your project, how that might, how that um, could be a custom color for you. So if you haven't already subscribed for more color conversations and um, we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Have a great day.